I thought I saw a person down there. What was that? Do not go back. They will hunt you like they did me. Eden? Sounded like it came from down there. Which is more or less where the point is. What is that? They were waiting for me. This was obviously a setup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. Still here in Canada, still cold. Um, yeah, wish I was kind of down south somewhere, warming up, maybe sitting on a nice hot, warm beach. But uh, yeah, we're out here. Um, I came a little bit more prepared today with a little bit better winter gear. Cover my face because it gets absolutely frigid it's like minus 11 degrees celsius right now it's not so bad um bearable so i figured i might as well come and uh gather up some uh some content here um so first things first i ran the very first intent which was from mary on twitter that intent was a lost memory which sounds really really creepy um this is a new place for me i've never been here before but it is telling me there is something back there in that forest uh, i think it's called happy valley forest or something like that so we'll find out exactly how happy it is <laughs> uh first thing i noticed there was like this fence that's torn down here no idea what that's all about and then we got this random gate over here also have no idea what the hell that's all about but um yeah let's uh smash the like button and get the adventure started all right so sorry if i sound a little bit muffled but my mouth's uh slightly covered up so first things first what the hell happened to this uh this gate here <laughs> and where does it go <laughs> like i don't see anything back there in particular um clearly somebody drove up to it and then turned around with some big beefy tires um so where we got to go is down that way i started out up the road i kind of just drove out here i have been in the area i've just never been here um, and then we have this random gate here as well. Don't know what that's all about, but let's head to where we gotta go to. Uh, no winter maintenance, use at own risk. Good to know, no authorized vehicles, or no, uh, no motorized vehicles, rather. Please don't litter, okay. Wasn't planning on it. So that's good. Alrighty, this is uh, not looking so bad. At least the weather's been uh, slightly cooperating and it is gonna be getting warmer soon, so that's good. Uh, right before we head all the way north, which is going to be crazy <laughs> I don't really know what to expect uh, so it's pretty exciting kind of a new adventure for us and I will explain soon why I'm not in the US I was supposed to be there right now but unfortunately we are not Well, we made it right before the sun went down, so it is what it is, I guess. Oh, that's something. What is that? Look for the small miracles, and you will find they are everywhere. What? It's like a little, little tiny plaque but it's broken, like the glue wore off. For some reason it's here. Uh, clearly people did not read the sign that says, please do not litter. Oh, my fingers are already starting to go a little numb. Which I find the most annoying thing about winter time, to be honest. I got hand warmers and gloves, but they don't always work 
perfectly, you kind of got to get your hands acclimatized. I, I found this sort of little trick. <laughs> you got to freeze your hands first, then warm them back up, and then get the blood flowing, and then you're usually okay. There's a sign there. I believe it says, Happy Valley Forest. Trust me, my eyes are so crap, I can't even read that. <laughs> I'll zoom in a bit for you guys, though. Yeah. Did you see a person down there? Uh, probably just a hiker. Clearly somebody came skiing through here. So much crunchiness from all this ice. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I thought I saw a person down there. What is that? Is that a picture? Oh, okay. Las Vegas. Well, that's odd. I think I just heard gunfire. It sounded like it was down that direction. Okay, so uh, question is, what is there, why is there a random picture frame of Las Vegas doing out here? M and K Enterprises, hand wash only, made in China, $7.98. Huh, okay. What is this? Oh. Do not go back. They will hunt you like they did me. Aiden? The hell? What the f Well, that's kind of creepy. Um, okay. Well, there's... This is not exactly the point. The point is much further up ahead. Um, but that's kind of weird. Uh, reason why um, is because the intent was lost memory. Not that my memories are lost, but we were in Vegas like maybe a month and a half ago. So that's kind of weird. And we did find something in relation to Las Vegas a little while ago. I think it was that license plate. Um, I think it was around New Year's. I think it was New Year's Eve, actually. I, I remember that. I was in another forest that I've been to many times, found a random sign there. Um, I don't know. That's kind of very odd, but all right. <laughs> I guess we'll carry on. Oh, I gotta fix my glove so I can roll my fingers inwards. <laughs> if you guys spend a lot of time outdoors, you'll understand what I mean when you're trying to keep your fingers from going completely numb because it does become pretty painful. Hearing a lot of like branches breaking. What the f***? There's like a bag or something down there. Uh, let me just fix my glove here. Okay. Why is there a bag there? Let me turn this light up a little bit. Okay. Um, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll go down. I'm going to go down and get it. But first of all, why is it there? Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, the water's still flowing. <laughs> is there anything else down here? Huh. Yeah, it looks like a... like a kid's bag. Ten Dergi? Ben. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. 
There's definitely something in it. Yeah. Uh, open this up. Kind of hard to do with only one hand. Oh man. It's very challenging opening things with these uh, these gloves. It kind of frustrates you a little bit. I think the zipper is kind of like caught. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I literally cannot like... Does it open more? It does open more. Um, so, I managed to unzip it a little bit more. And I noticed there's a name there. Aaron Alex. A. Aaron. And we got Walt Disney, some thumpsters, little sisters. And there's a bunch of like things written on it. Okay. That's uh pretty random. Oh Bambi, let me uh take this glove off for a sec. This book belongs to Catherine Dawid, which would be David in Polish. I remember because I had a friend with the same name, but he did not thump his foot. He did not nibble the fresh green grass. He just sat and looked sad. What's wrong, Thumper? Okay. Oh yeah, this is like a really, really old story. Two out of the ordinary, just kind of weird that there's a really old bag. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Got a pencil sharpener, uh, what looks like a boy's shirt. What is this? NHL Superstar Collectibles. Pittsburgh. That's cool. It's like one of my favorite places. Okay. Uh, looks like a little, like a little locker. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Oh, it's like a one of those like mini stick things. Okay. That's. Uh, and it just looks like there's pens. Uh. And whatever the heck that is. Okay. What about in here? Holy crap, this thing is like frozen. Oh, we got something. Okay, uh, just give me one sec to open this. Okay. Uh, so I opened two zippers. This one just has a hand sanitizer. Oh, my finger is starting to, starting to get cold. And then here, there's like all that stuff. We got a celebration. Looks like Canada Day bracelet. And then just this random stuff. This glove is mine. And that appears to be it. So the question is, why was this even here? I don't understand. Also, what was that thump? Hello? Okay. Let's grab my glove here. Definitely heard something. I don't know what that was. Huh. Okay, well I guess I'll go a little bit further ahead. I just gotta warm up my finger for a second. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, that appears to be about it with that, um, plus the, that other Vegas thing. Um, I'm gonna continue making my way up this way. Uh, 
Also, I was kind of like hearing something down there. I don't know. It sounded like something was moving around. Um, I didn't have my light out, so couldn't particularly see anybody. Plus, there's a fair distance, <laughs> as you can tell. Somebody just call out? What the hell? Sounded like it came from down there. Which is more or less where the point is. It's a loud tree branch snapping. Well, as the sun's uh, fading away, you do got the moon right there, quite beautiful. Um, this place is starting to get a heck of a lot creepier. <sighs> yeah, I don't see anybody. Like there's another trail this way so my point is down there which is kind of where we heard that whatever that was what is that Stay on designated trails only. Okay. What the hell? I swear it just sounded like somebody running or something. Hello? Okay, I gotta fix my hand on this camera. So I'm just like holding it really awkwardly. But that literally sounded like somebody was just down there. What the heck? Weird. Okay. Um... But the question is, what is this weird looking skull thing doing here? <sighs> Seek and you will find the answers. Um, okay. Quantum leap number seven. Shit, I'll W E B Tsudenur. What? Hang on a second. Uh, I think it's backwards. This, well, it's not even really backwards. It's like all over the place. Uh, this will be. Something. I don't know what that says. Something soon? It will make sense. What will make sense? Okay. I'm just gonna put that back. Um. Why is that here? <laughs> what the? So I know the point is down this way, but I'm just gonna see if there's anything else here. Very strange. Uh, this is deep woods. What? Nature Conservancy. Deep woods. Oh wow, damn, this place is big. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, we have a uh, lot of ground to cover. Um, I think I'm gonna go down that way first. Actually, let's just continue looking here first to see if there is anything. was somebody calling out again but it was from down there it sounded like somebody said help me what the f like is somebody in need of assistance Hello? Someone down there. I don't see nothing. a pretty cool trail. I mean, I imagine it's probably really nice in the middle of the day. <laughs> to be honest, I was trying to get out earlier, but it just didn't didn't work out. <laughs> forest noises. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, I'm going to probably get to the There it is again. Okay, what like what is going on? Like seriously, is somebody out there? Huh. What's that? Weird. Okay. What is this? Uh... Happy Valley Heritage Forest, uh, Langtree Nature Reserve, stewarded for the benefit of nature and for all Canadians through a significant bequest by the late M. Roberta Langtree of Toronto. Oh, wow. Dude, that's our lost memory. Wow. <laughs> that's actually amazing. 
Okay. So, there's no one here. Like, if someone is out here, where would they be? I see some footprints that go that way. There's a trail that breaks off this way. Then we got this way. Uh, okay. So, I think this is our point. It has to be. I'm gonna double check on the map to see how uh, how far in we were supposed to go, but this, that's that's right. Wow, that's uh, that's actually pretty crazy. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess, start tracking back and then uh, run another point. I'm gonna probably warm up in the car first and then run another point and see where this thing brings us. Man, the camera is freaking cold in my hands, but uh, all right, so back at the car, um, it's weird because I keep seeing this like bright flashing light up the street on the left which is funny enough where our next point is um which is from jazzy claire suggested undiscovered c3 illuminati hidden answers and the truth um so we're going with all of them <laughs> so shout out to you again on twitter if you guys want to take part in these um go and follow me on twitter instagram or just leave your intents down below whatever you want to do um, cause I often use the ones you guys suggest and sometimes I use some of my own. Um, but yeah, all right, let's go and head over to our next point. So actually, first of all, I want to talk about what we just found. Let me lower this cause all you guys are going to hear from the, the vents, but, um, that was strange. Um, honestly, as long as I've probably been doing Randonautica videos for you guys, um, one of the most common things I find and I know you guys say this a lot about other creators, too, that find stuff. Um, one of the most common things that I find is, like, children's stuff. And it's weird. It's very, very strange to go into the forest and find kids' toys or clothing. In this case, we found this backpack, which had a name inscribed on the inside. Aaron something, I don't really remember. Aaron Alex, I think it was. Uh, and then there was the, the other name, a girl's name, inside of the book. So... I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if some kids were just in here and then just somehow threw their backpack away into the creek. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, sometimes it just seems like, are these clues to something far more nefarious? Like, did something happen to these kids and somebody's just leaving these as clues for us to figure out? Like, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to figure that out, but I don't know. It's... Uh, it's a little bit mind-boggling, that's for sure, but uh, anyway, I'm going to head up the road and uh, let's see what we find at the next point. Okay, so I'm like 95% uh, sure that I was here not long ago. Um, yeah, I was definitely here. I remember that picture. So, what I do remember is that there was two points. So my point was like down there somewhere. And then we had to go all the way around to get to Brad's point, which was all the way in the woods. Um, this time, my point is actually showing that it is in the woods. Which sucks, because <laughs> now we got to walk through this entire valley just to get to it. And uh, it is definitely getting colder. I can uh, feel my booty getting cold, actually. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Let's go and... Uh, Explore and investigate Because explore is my first name Ooh. Cover up the face a little bit Ooh. It's the wind when it hits your skin man it uh, It's not nice <laughs> Alrighty, well, yeah, this is definitely where we were, the only difference is this time, there's a lot more snow. <laughs> cool spot though. Uh, okay. Random silver case. Ugh. What the hell? Looks like a, like a poker set. I think it is a poker. Yeah, it has to be there. I mean, there's a poker chip attached to it. 
Uh, I almost forget which way you have to open these. Why is there a random poker set out? It literally is a random poker set. Smile for me? What the hell? <laughs> what does that mean? That's kind of weird. This looks like it. Oh, it does come. Up. Um. Okay. Yeah. This is odd. We're just going to close that back up. What the hell? Uh, well, that's from those Parker people again. What is the deal with them? I'm beginning to like you. What the heck does that mean? Okay, I'm not so sure I really want to do this. Um, well, screw it, we're going to do it anyways. That's what we're here for. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't been paying attention or watching the last few videos, there's been this strange group, I guess, that calls themselves Parker. Uh, based on the info we know, apparently there's some hacker group. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep going. Oh. I literally just saw a bright light. Like a flash. And oddly enough, um, coming up the road, it looked like there was a bunch of lights on in the woods, but I couldn't tell if it was a house or something else, or like people. Okay, I mean, this is getting a little disturbing. <laughs> like, dude. I mean, there are lights there, so I'm assuming that's a house someone's property makes sense it's a little hard to make out on camera but so that could just be what I saw not a hundred percent sure this might be a bit of a hike okay that was a squeak. <laughs> I don't under... Sounded like it came from down there. Which is right where I need to go. I don't see anything. Or anyone. Okay, let's just uh, tread lightly. I mean, I do have a knife on me if I absolutely need it. This spot's really cool. There was that noise again. Okay. Uh. Hello? Here's something. I cannot tell what it is.
There's no one here. Hmm. Okay. Branch. Thought there was something there. I'm trying to remember exactly where my point was last time. I think it was like just up here. It was like a spot that kind of like backs onto someone's property. All right. Where I gotta go is like down there, but I gotta go up and around first. <sighs> Ooh, the wind on the face, man. Especially because here there's not so many trees, so the wind just comes through like crazy. All right, so we're getting close. Kind of remember this. Looks like some people went through here. What the hell? <laughs> All right. But I'm not sure if that goes the same way that I actually want to get to. See lights, I think. Kind of hard to tell. Okay. That was somebody calling out. Kind of weird, because we heard something similar on that side really up the road in the other section of forest I feel like this could be a trap I mean I'm gonna go anyway cuz I mean that's what I came here for I'm trying to find clues to whatever all this means I remember this. So we got to here, then we ended up turning and going down that way. Uh, what was that? I thought I saw something. Could have sworn I thought I saw something move down there. Well, let's get down there because it'll probably be a little warmer. Uh, at least shielding us from the wind. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything now. Okay. Yeah, from like back there it kind of looked like there was something something that moved down there I don't know if that makes any sense well I guess I could have cut across <laughs> probably would have made the most sense uh, something in there again. What in the hell is going on tonight? 
strange ass noises, that's for sure. Oh, we gotta go in there. Uh, I think I gotta change the battery on this camera in a second. Oh, that looks pretty ominous. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm looking for like footsteps as to where. So if somebody cut across, where did they come to? That's what I don't understand. Because I'm not really seeing the same tracks coming and then connecting here. So it kind of doesn't make any sense. Here, maybe? Possibly, because if that's the case, that is going to be my way out. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess first things first, I gotta change this battery because I'm down to like 5% because I actually forgot to charge it, but luckily I have spares. Okay, so I was changing the uh, battery and I heard someone call out for help again. What is going on? Let me get my O light. So it kind of sounded like it came from down there. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> from the last time we were here. I didn't get to show you guys this because it was all on Brad's video. I also just realized that for some reason I was zoomed all the way in. <laughs> or a little too much in. Uh, what is that? Word hunt. Okay. Uh, look at the freaking water. I wonder if it's frozen. Oh, I'm so tempted to try. Hang on. I hope it'll fall in. Oh yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty solid. <laughs> awesome okay so why is there a word hunt book here pocket size huh looks like somebody was doing some of them what the hell? that's kind of weird we got an O E H L L. I don't know what that means. What? Why is that say? Why are my why what? Why is my name circled? I'm just going to put this in my pocket for the time being. I heard something. I'm trying to like zip up my pocket. There we go. It kind of almost sounded like a dog off in the distance, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. A 
Hello? Just trying to listen. Um, so I'm finding it kind of strange that my name is circled in that book. That's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I don't know if there's any more in that book, because I haven't really... Listen to that wind. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up, but... Whew. All right, is there someone out here? That might have been our answer. I don't know what that was. Oh, somebody's there. Oh. Nope, not taking my chances. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm about to be surrounded. Can I go that way? All right, not gonna wait. I don't know who the hell that person is. I literally saw somebody standing. It's like they were trying to hide, but not very well. Okay, okay. Okay, I definitely heard that. I don't know if I can cut through, if I gotta go the whole way. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Clearly they were waiting for me. This was obviously a setup. Oh, what the f Oh, what the f oh. 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 I just saw a really bright light up there. Oh. Crap. Oh. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here as fast as I freaking can. Oh. Of course, it's going to be an uphill. Nope. Oh, man. Finally back at the car. Holy crap. What in the actual f
Okay. Uh. What the f There's no cars here. Okay. You. Oh, I'm gonna get in the car. Your poker set. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, I've been sitting in my car. Um. Haven't seen anybody come out. I don't know who the hell that was. I think. Uh, I mean, it has to be those Parker people again. Those uh, self proclaimed hacker dudes. This is crazy, but. I haven't had a chance to look at this. I almost forgot I even had it. Uh, so this thing says my name. So clearly, uh, this was a setup. This was obviously put there for me. Uh, so on this first page, we have an O, L, L, E, and an H. Uh, the only thing I think could think of is hello. And then on the second thing, it clearly says my name. And there's more. What the? Hang on, check this out. Okay, this is uh, this is kind of spooky, but I believe this says find him. Uh, what does this one say? Now, N O W now. He's. Is? I think all of a sudden it's going in order. Here, uh, in Toronto, C A M Cameron. What the hell? We got coordinates. Go, go now. He will be. Uh, wait. You got W A I T. That's literally the only thing I can think of. And then there's like two names here that are circled: Alice, Dylan. We got a coordinate. Um, um, okay, what is going on here? Is that it? Crap. I'm trying to like flip through the pages. Yeah, there's literally nothing else. Okay, um, I mean, I guess I can check out these coordinates and just see where they are, so I'll do that. Um, okay, so I just ran the coordinates. It looks... what is that? What does that say? C3 Church Toronto? Uh, what? I don't know what that's all about. It's literally just like a random church. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so that's... Uh, okay, so that's definitely something. Um, it's telling me to go there now. First of all, it's closed because it is now 7.30 p.m. So apparently they're closed. <laughs> Uh, second of all, that is almost an hour away. Uh, maybe we'll go tomorrow and see what it is. I mean, clearly it's a church. You know what? I'm going to look up this church. Okay, this is, uh, this is kind of crazy. Um, so I searched up C3 Church on Google. Uh, the first thing that comes up is the listing for C3 Toronto. Um, I scrolled down a little bit, and there was several things in here. Uh, people also ask, 
it says, what is the C3 church controversy? It says, criticism and controversy. The cult information and family support organization CIFS notes that C3 church is being actively monitored by a self-appointed Christian watchdog group run anonymously. Two accusations made by this group are of C3 controlling people and of teaching false doctrine. Huh. I don't know if there's anything more in the Wikipedia page. It literally just says C3 Church Global, formerly known as Christian City Church International, C3I, is a charismatic movement founded by Phil Pringle and Christian Pringle. Okay. Um, the first church was started in DY on northern beaches of Sydney, Australia, and is now located in Oxford Falls. As of October 2019, C3 Church Global was a community of over 500 churches. Holy crap. Uh, criticism and controversy. The cult information. Um, okay, so we read that already. Phil Pringle has been accused of grooming church congregations to pay for legal fees after a friend of Pringle's, a pastor of an unrelated church, was convicted of fraud for using church funds to fund his wife's music career. Oh, wow, okay. During the 1980s, church elders within C3 were accused of failing to act on several situations of sexual abuse and molestation of young boys. Fantastic. Uh, in 2007, in the South Australian Supreme Court, pedophile Trevor John Russell, 57, of Stansbury, who had already pleaded guilty... Uh, to sexually abusing four teenage boys, that's disgusting, at church camps in early 1980s, also confessed to molesting five other teenage boys in the 1970s and 80s. Oh my god. Uh, in 2014, the senior pastor at C3 Asheville, Northern Carolina, Nicholas Demetrius, received a federal prison sentence for his part in a real estate fraud. In 2017, a pastor within C3 was convicted of colluding with a person to defraud copyright of a large number of DVDs. Uh, Phil Pringle has maintained friendships with pastors around the world who have been convicted of financial fraud, including Kong Hee. The church has also been accused of claiming to be progressive and inclusive while hiding the fact that it is strongly against gay marriage and does not allow sexual acti uh, sexually active gay members who fully participate in the church. Um, was there anything else here? Uh, what does the C3 church believe? We believe in the salvation by grace uh, and through trust in Jesus. I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I got... Uh, what are the three C's of religion? I don't know if that's even related. Okay, well, this is crazy. Um, I don't really know anything about this church, this C3 church. Um, first time I'm ever hearing about it. <laughs> so that's crazy why am i being told to go there and why is cameron there aka c3 now this is just crazy like there's been so much of this cult stuff since we started doing this and it's like it's ludicrous it's absolutely insane and based on what we just heard online it doesn't sound like these people are very good people um, not saying everybody who's a part of this congregation is bad, but it sounds like the founders are pretty, pretty gross. And some of the pastors are pretty gross too. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't really know what to do. I don't know if I'm going to go there tonight. Um, to be honest with you, I think I might just go eat pot and then probably just go home, maybe edit this video and throw it up for you tomorrow. So, um, if that is the case, uh, smash like button, subscribe if you're new. I know this is like insane. This is totally <laughs> new to me. Um, I don't know what's up with these, these, uh, Parker people. I don't know what the connection is to C3, possibly these Viserians. Now all of a sudden we got the C3 Church of Toronto. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, subscribe, turn notifications on, and, uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one, if anything.